going to start learning how to play. There's some things you need to know before we start. First off, this is a model-based game, so we're going to play with models. Okay, I have a couple here, a couple of examples. All right, the second thing you need to know is each model has its own traits, its own ideas, the way it functions. Okay, so we're going to talk about those. We call them characteristics, and we're going to talk about each model's characteristics here. All righty? So, first I'll start with our bread and butter, okay? The Space Marine. Everybody say yay! Yay! Yeah, couldn't hear you, but good enough. All right, so this is our Space Marine. All right, this guy is uh, who we used to base a lot of things off of. When I teach this game, I like to teach from here. All right, we'll move from here on out. Right. It has a stat line that has several things in it. It has weapon skill, it has ballistic skill, okay, strength, toughness, wounds, initiative attacks, leadership, armor save. Did you get that? No? Okay, cool. There, let me break it down for you. Weapon skill, that's how well that you, uh, you punch with a fist or, or hit with a sword, okay? Ballistic skill, how well can you shoot that gun, all right? Uh, your strength, that's the um, <clears throat> strength. So, your toughness, that's how well you can take a hit, okay? The higher your toughness, the better. Uh, your wounds, all righty? Does it only take one hit to take you down? Does it take more than one hit to take you down? All right, your, uh, your initiative is how smart or how fast you can move. Your attacks are how many times you actually get to hit in close combat. Somebody with a lot of attacks is, you know, really, really fast. Somebody with not a lot of attacks is maybe really strong, but really slow. Um, your leadership, okay? How well can you stay on the field, manage what's around you? And your armor safe. All right, this is the only one I'm going to say it's good to have a low number. It's kind of like golf armor saves. Okay, so the lower the number, the better. Does your armor stop the bullet? All right, so the space ring, okay? He's got a stat line, as you can see below. And we are uh, going to go over that real quick. So his ballistic skill is four. Okay, that is the BS in the stat line. That's how we abbreviate that. Ballistic skill. Uh, it's a good average ballistic skill. Okay, you can base a lot of things off that. His weapon skill, you see right before it, is at also a four. Good average number. Okay, strength four. Pretty good average number. The four is about the average in most of these. Okay, toughness again four. Wounds is one. That's the average. Most people are going to only have one wound. Okay. Uh, if you get more than one wound, it's typically a really, really good thing. Uh, your initiative here is four, average. Uh, attacks one, that's actually pretty ad pretty average. There's more people that can get more than one attack, but one is most low-level guys are going to have one attack. In fact, you can't go less than one, so that's good. Uh, his leadership, in his case, is eight, slightly a better than average. Okay, They actually have a little bit better leadership. All right, uh, they're Marines. What are you going to do? Um, Armor save is three. He's got a good armor save. All right, uh, three is a, a very good armor save. You can only go to a two, so he's one away from perfect uh, as far as that's concerned. But uh, that's his armor save. So let's see how he compares. I've got next to him an Imperial Guard, superhuman soldier of the 41st century, non-superhuman soldier of the 41st century. So let's see how his stats stack up. And here they are. All right, you got a weapon skill of three, less than a space ring, but only been one. Ballista skill three, uh, initiative. Three over here on the eye, toughness three, strength three. He's got one wound, one hit takes him down. He's got one attack, can't get less than that. His leadership is seven. You see how it's less? Okay, uh, so he's going to have less of a leadership. He does have an armor save of five, pretty far away from a two, which is which is perfect. So uh, he can go down a lot easier. All right, which is why you want about three of those to every one of these. And sometimes even that's not enough. Okay. Now let's even take it a step higher. I took a step down from a space marine. Let's go a step up. I've got us here, space marine captain. Okay, the head honcho. Now he first off, your one thing you might notice, he's got a leadership of ten. Okay, first double digit you're going to see. Uh, ten is the, really the highest you get in the game. It's going to be a leadership ten, and that's pretty good, uh, right, for a captain. Uh, you'll see his weapon skills higher than that of a space marine. Ballista skill. Higher than that of a normal space ring. Strength and toughness are the same. There are four. I mean, he, you can only put so many, you know, stem whatevers in him before he gets, you know, too buff. Uh, as you'll notice, though, he has three wounds. Significantly harder to kill. In fact, you have to cause three times as much damage. So, harder to kill. Initiative is higher. All right? Uh, his attacks are higher. So, everything there is higher. His armor save, as the stat line you see, currently is a three. It can actually go to a two if you buy the right war gear. So, he is much beefier than a space marine, okay? So we can see that. Let's look at even beefier. Big head honcho here. This is a hive tyrant, right, that I've modified. As you'll notice, it's my uh, little bit of a count status swarm lord, all right? But I'm just going to go over the hive tyrant stats for right now. 
Now let's take a look at those stats. All right, big difference there. So he's much higher than a Space Marine. Uh, he's higher even than the Space Marine Captain. He's double a lot of stats of the Imperial Guardsman. So he's a big head honcho. Some things I want to point out. He has strength and toughness six. That's huge. Very, very tough, okay? Much harder to kill, all right, than a, than a lowly Space Marine. All right, strength and toughness six. He also has four wounds. That's the highest we've seen so far. Okay, leadership 10, you can notice that. But take a look at that weapon skill. That's a high weapon skill, okay? He's gonna, he's gonna chop through some people pretty easily. Um, and also, he, you notice there, he's got a save of three up. So let's take a look at one of his different units. All right, I've got here the wee little Hormagaunt. Now, there's only one right now, okay? Take a look at that stat line. Not really that impressive, a lot like an Imperial Guardsman. All right, uh, one thing you can notice, look at that save. That's a six up save. That's not a very good save, okay? Leadership, fairly low, all right? But when there's one of them, they're pretty easy to take down. When you see a whole mess of them, not as easy to take down, all right? The last one I got here, just a little bit different race. This is a, uh, a fire warrior from the, uh, the Tau Empire. And look at this stat line. Now it's gonna look a lot different. Okay, there's a lot of numbers in and out, up and down, not quite as flat line stats as we have in the other ones. Okay, you're gonna see his weapon skills only two. Yeah, weapon skill. Okay, Ballista skills three, toughness three, strength three. Uh, he's got one wound, his initiative two. Again, he's not that quick, all right, when it comes to being in close combat. Uh, he's gonna have a leadership of seven, so about that of Imperial Guardsman. His armor save is a four, so we can get no different numbers in here. We've got threes, we've got fives, we've got a six, and now we've got a four. Okay, so different armor sets. Each one of these models functions very differently on the tabletop, but as long as you understand the core stats and how they relate, usually to this guy right here. If you can relate the stats to him, you're going to figure out fairly quickly what's going on. Okay, so let's move on to the next thing, which is going from one single model to a whole unit of models. All right, let's take a look at that. All right, guys, so I just talked about uh, different unit traits and stuff like that, and I've got a little lonely Marine here, but um, we definitely need to talk about what happens when we get more than one model together. Now, in the game, we have what's called units, okay? A unit can comprise a one Mr. Beefy McMighty Man, but most of the time, our units are comprised of models just like this. Notice I said models, okay? So let's take what this is and take a look at what it looks like when we have a unit. And we've got a unit, okay? You'll notice I've added some friends. Now, this is a pretty average unit, little five-man unit of Space Marines. They'll move across the field as one body, just like they do in modern-day military, okay? So, what I've got here, I've added, we've got our, our beginner. We've got a guy just like him. We've got a guy basically just like him. We have a weapon specialist, okay? We've got a sergeant holding a sword, all right? So, we have a little bit different cohesion. Now a unit has to stay together. It can't just run willy-nilly all over the place. All right, they're gonna lose their ability to fight together. So we'd have what's called coherency. We're gonna cover that fully in the movement phase, but real quick, just so you know, they pretty much need to stay within two inches of another person. Does that mean that they all have to be like this? No, okay, wrong game system. Can you do that? Yes, in fact, sometimes you have to. All right, does that mean that they can be like this? Well, no, because they're not all within two inches, all right? Um, they don't have to be all of the two inches of each other, like some sort of random trapezoidal pentagonal formation type thing, okay? They can be a line, right? They can be a circle, they can be a star, but they just have to be within two inches of another person, okay? Now, one note, especially when it comes to measuring, you know, coherency. If you'll notice, all these models are on a little brown base, okay? One of my examples of earlier, that's not a little brown base, okay? It's a much larger base size. So, the models that you buy come with the bases provided in them. And it's really important that you use those bases. Okay, I'm just going to let you know, if your model doesn't have a base, all right, uh, find a model of similar size and see if you can find a base that size. Uh, bases do matter in the game, so just from the get-go, use the bases that come with the model. I've seen beautiful scenic bases that just never get played because they don't have the right size, okay? so. That's about the units and forming a unit. A unit can be as small as one, okay, you're gonna review, but a unit could be as big as 30. I've seen a unit of 30, okay? 
big old massive unit just all moving around. It's a pain to move, but it's fun to play with. All right, so that all being said, I hope you got some of the basics of starting out with the idea. What we're going to do in the next series, I'm going to talk about some general principles, the most important rule of the turn. All right, so check out the next video. Hope to see you playing the game soon.